Wallet Hub's Jill Gonzalez has a list, a study done by the organization Wallet Hub, the wealthy states, the poor states. Jill, we thank you for your time. Give us your top five, uh, the rich states, and I understand they include the federal capital district, correct? Correct, yes. The five richest states are the District of Columbia, New Jersey, Connecticut, Maryland, and Massachusetts. And uh, as we look at this, and we'll go ahead and make the exception for the District of Columbia, uh, the criteria you used, Jill, what, what was it? To measure just how rich or poor the states are, we measured three key things. Income at various levels, GDP per capita, and tax dollars per capita. Well, it seems like th those are states, especially the District of Columbia, that's the home of the government. The government in the here and now in this economy is generating that kind of income for Washington, D.C., no? Yes, and it really was also the percentage of households that make over $200,000 a year. District of Columbia topped out at 12% of households. So you talk about some of the poorest states in your study being New Mexico, South Carolina, Alabama, West Virginia, Mississippi. Can you explain to viewers why you think this is? Well, a lot of those states have the highest percentage of households bringing in under $25,000 a year and the lowest amount bringing in over 200000 a year. So a lot of these poorer, you know, underdeveloping, lower class people. Yeah, but it is interesting. There was another study this week, Jill, obviously not from Wallet Hub, but in terms of uh, philanthropy, Mississippi, that ranks dead last on your list at Wallet Hub in terms of income, ranks second among the states in terms of generosity and giving to charities. So uh, this, this, this uh, relative wealth, I guess, uh, is really relative, is it not? Exactly. Maybe they're giving more of their money away. Uh, is, there, is there one reason that we see the poor states, a lot of them located in the southeastern United States? Well, we did see that overall, you know, for every state, the average middle class household still earns almost $4,500 less than it did pre-recession. And a lot of this recession hits those states the most. So those middle-class households are even e are earning even less than that. Well, Jill Gonzalez, we always appreciate the fact you folks at Wallet Hub conduct these studies. Thanks for some insight on rich state, poor state, and we really do appreciate it. I spoke earlier, Francesca, about the presence of government and government-generated economy. One gentleman who's tried to grow the government is President Obama. And, of course, our friend Dick Morris has a new book out about the president and what may happen these last two years he's in office. Uh, the name of the new book is Power Grab, Obama's Dangerous Plan for a One-Party Nation. Our friend Dick Morris, the co-author, along with his, life, his wife, Eileen McGann, and you can find out more uh, by going to the website. <clears throat> it's almost choking me up here. Powergrab411.com. Of course, Dick and Eileen, very pleased that uh, Amazon rating political books this is flying off the shelves number one on that list wow impressive Very that's impressive. right so we have to get writing right now team up for a book and we'll figure out the title later we could say it's so nice to be with you or we could title this mini novella what's ahead speaking of what's ahead high noon eastern we welcome in ed berliner who is literally waiting in the wings to bring you midpoint that will be followed at 3 o'clock Eastern by, well, it's the Steve Malsberg Show. So three guesses as to who is featured on that program. Your first two guesses don't count, but Steve Malsberg very much counts. And look, here's where you can watch us. Direct TV, channel 349, Dish Network, channel 223, also available at those particular locations on the Internet. Oh, this age, this day and age of different ways to garner information. We hope to see you back here tomorrow morning, 9 in the East, 6 in the West. Stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.